Hello everyone, X-Walk Hill Bethelite here. And I hear about uh, people not getting along, like in the uh, community of uh, XJWs. And I don't think it's that bad, personally, but I just don't understand uh, why the expectation would be that we would all get along. Part of the reason why I get along with so many people just in my daily comings and goings is I manage expectation. If I get on the bus, I don't expect the bus driver to be Socrates. If I go down the aisle in the grocery store, I don't expect the cashier to be an astro physicist. And when 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 I, I'm I'm driving behind a, a a garbage truck and you see the garbage flying off of the truck, I, I don't expect the the driver or the person hanging off the side of the garbage truck to be Tony Stark in an Iron Man suit and come and pick up all the trash before it hits my car. It's, it's just managing expectations. What do you expect from people and why do you expect it? And that's something I had to learn coming out of Watchtower because Watchtower teaches people to have a high expectation for anyone that has a title but they, they, they warp the reasoning for it is just because of the title. That person that's called an elder, he doesn't have any foundation for which he needs to be put on any kind of a pedestal or given any kind of special privilege. It's just the title. The title alone, the word attached to a name <laughs> alone is the reason why us as Jehovah's Witnesses were taught to highly regard someone or have high expectation for someone. But I just gave examples of titles attached to names where we don't have high expectations. And I'll get into how this applies to us as former Jehovah's Witnesses and learning to get along, not just with ourselves uh, amongst next Jehovah's Witnesses, but with others. When we see a cashier, that's a title, cashier, <laughs> and the person's name badge there. We don't have a high expectation. We just expect the person to be somewhat pleasant and bring up the groceries. When we see someone that's in public transportation, a bus driver, that's a title. That person is a bus driver, but we don't expect them to be Socrates all of a sudden because they have a title. When I go to work, I hear people not getting along with uh, this person or that person. This person was rude. This person was this and that. I only expect that person to do what that job title entails. I don't expect them to be refined or enlightened or particularly not a rude person. My expectations of people don't go above any kind of a reasonable, rational qualification for that they have for me to expect anymore. Now, obviously, friends and people you've known for years and years and years, your expectation is tempered by your knowledge of that person and, and you have a certain expectation based off of how that what that person knows and you, you expect the person to act a certain way if they know to act that way however as former Jehovah's Witnesses a lot of times we don't know a person we may work for a company we don't know the people that's running it we don't know but we have this high expectation because Watchtower taught us that there's a certain group of people and they're just all good. 
And there's a certain group of people and they just, you should have these high expectations just because it's a group of people. And then sometimes I see people who are former JWs and, and you know, we're not getting along or, or there's arguments or something to that effect. And I haven't personally been involved with it, probably because if a person is an activist, that's all I expect of them, is to be an activist. I don't expect this person to be Gandhi, and I can ask this person if there's a God, and I can get answers to life from this person just because they were a former elder. We know that elders, the, the actual elders, have no real qualifications. They're just a regular guy with a title. So a former elder, why would we expect this person to be especially knowledgeable about anything outside of Watchtower? I think most people in the XJW community are very qualified to talk about Watchtower. But that doesn't raise my expectation of that person that they're going to be particularly moral or they're, they're, they're going to be particularly respectful or they're going to be particularly friendly or they're going to particularly have any kind of specific sense outside of their qualification to talk about watch that there's there's activists who make videos i don't think i've ever gotten into an argument with an activist that makes videos because i don't expect anything of them but to make videos i don't expect them to be obama i expect a person that makes videos to make videos I expect a person that's an activist that goes out in the community and approaches JWs with carts to go out in the community and approach JWs with carts. I don't particularly feel the need to buy a book from the per like they wrote a book and I'm gonna buy a book and feel like I need to be enlightened or anything from the per And some of that comes from me being at Bethel. I'm coming from Bethel. So it doesn't make me necessarily better than anyone else. It's just my experience with Watchtower is such that the only person whose book I've purchased was a governing body, a, a former governing body member, Ray Franz, Crisis of Conscience. I bought his books because his experience went above mine. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy books from people. I'm saying that we should have proper expectation, not just a former JWs who the only title they have is just they, they make YouTube videos and it's, or they're an activist or they try to get a group of people together to make shirts and maybe coffee mugs or something to that effect and, and sell it. Or, you know, they make videos, but they get a group of people together to make a video. Like, I've never gotten into an argument with people in those situations. Probably, I'm guessing, because I, my, I don't expect anything of them other than to get together as a group and make a video. I don't expect the people not to be jerks. Why wouldn't they be jerks? If they're disrespectful towards women, why wouldn't they be disrespectful towards women? You can be, there's no, there's nothing with YouTube where if a person is disrespectful towards women, YouTube is no longer going to function and not going to allow this person to make a video. It's simply not a qualification for a person to make a video. Now, if I know the person personally, and I know they have better sense than to act a certain way, then I have the expectation based off experience with that person. But if I don't even know the person, 
and they're a former JW. Just being a former JW qualifies you to talk about Watchtower. Keep in mind, we, we, we didn't have to get college degrees. We didn't have to get particularly uh, qualified or, or get a, a, an education in, in, in this field or that field. So it doesn't particularly qualify you for anything. Scientology, they were going after movie stars. People with talent, like world-class talent. Watchtower, we're coming from a group that we're going after whoever would listen to us and take the magazines. But then Watchtower took that person, gave them a title and said, you need to give this person respect just because we say so. And God wants you to give this person respect. So, just because we say so. So I think a lot of me being able to, and I've got friends who are, you know, that I've met that are former JWs, and I've been friends with them for years. And the thing is, is I just don't expect this person to be the most moral person in the world or, or to be the most knowledgeable person in the world just because they used to go to the hall. <laughs> you know what I mean? So comment down below and let me know what you think. You know, as far as uh, the people that make the videos, uh, you know, videos that I'm interested in, I'll click on and I'll watch them. The videos that I'm not interested in, I, I, I won't watch them. I'm not going to try to argue with them about it because... What is the expectation that every video I'm going to like? What do I? What? What's the reason for that expectation? So that's something that I've learned, not just with uh, getting along with coworkers, getting along with friends, the whole dating thing. You, there's expectation, but then you want to set it at a reasonable. You want to have a reason for having this expectation of that particular person. That And that helps a lot with disappointment. Being disappointed by people and, 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 and things like that. If you're an XJW, you could be disappointed a lot because you were taught to have high expectation for no reason at all. None. You got governing body members, people that are at the top of Watchtower, Tony Morris, that goes on liquor buying sprees. You got governing body members, people who are at the top, Stephen Lett, that can't control his facial expressions. His face looks like he's being tased as he talks. You got governing body members, Samuel Hurd that talked about women's brains being smaller. So why would we expect people who are in positions lower than theirs to be able to do anything other than what they say they can do, which is provide information about Watchtower, make videos about Watchtower. Uh, if they try to get something together, like a big group, know to have your own street smarts. Why would you think that they have it? Why do we expect so much of people uh, that are former JW? The highest person I've had that expectation was uh, for, uh, I forgot the name that, that quick, Rope Crisis of uh, Conscious France. <laughs> that, that the highest level expectation was, was that, and that was just, from the position he was in and from reading the book Crisis of Conscious all of what he did to me gave a proper expectation of a certain level of integrity but just to give that type of uh, expectation to people just just 
So, so that's that's my question. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, as far as uh, getting along with people, with expectation. Okay, you don't get along with them. Why was the expectation ever that high for someone that is an activist? Not even in our state, clear across the country. We don't even know these people, but they provide good information about Watchtower and uh, they do a good public service in going out and uh, cart crashing or what do you call it? Kingdom Hall crashing or, or just coming up with different, uh, you know, doing things to help against Watchtower. Qualified to do it. My expectation is that they do it and they meet expectation. I have a reason to expect a activist to, to do activist type stuff. And they do it and I'm happy with them. Or I meet in a former JW and my expectation is that we're able to reminisce about JW type stuff. And I'm never disappointed. <laughs> We always can talk about XJW stuff and reminisce about the stuff. I don't expect the person to be my best buddy or did they, like, why would I expect that? I don't expect And people find that out also when they get married. People that marry a Jehovah's Witness. Oh yeah. You find out real quick that what was going on at the hall was just an act. There was no real expectation for you to think that this person was going to be a good husband because he ran a watchtower. So again, 937-789-4029, getting to the part of the road where I need to start paying attention before I hit something, because Texans, I like Texans, but they can't drive. They can't drive. I can drive better and do a video at the same time. So again, X-Wall Kill Bethelite, signing out.